What I want to do is share with you some of the good, the bad, and the ugly ways people have created and market their brand, and how you can start using these lessons right away. First, a few basics out of the way. What the heck is a brand? A brand essentially is the essence or promise of what will be delivered or experienced to your target audience. It is also a collection of experiences and associations that people associate or connect with a service, person, product, or organization. A brand can often be expressed in the form of a logo. Think the Intel uh, logo on uh, computers and laptops. And also importantly, think about the Realtor R. A lot of benefits associated with using the Realtor brand. First of all, if you are a Realtor, if you are a member of the California Association of Realtors, you already have that brand. But my observation is very few people are using that brand, even though they are a Realtor. As a matter of fact, both the California and National Association of Realtors spends millions of dollars every year to promote the benefits and advantages of being a Realtor. But an unscientific sampling just in the last couple days here, when I got here, is that most Realtors don't even include the Realtor logo on their card. So it is really easy, really affordable, no-brainer, to start using the Realtor logo on all of your communications. Studies done by the National Association of Realtors, in fact, show that almost 75% of the public would prefer to work with a Realtor and that those who do work with realtors are more often than not likely to want to work with them again or spread the word, word of mouth advertising about what a great experience it was working with a realtor. So you, many of you already have this brand that you have, but unfortunately you may not be using it to its full potential. And we'll be talking about how you can do that in the next few minutes. Of course, there are certain dangers involved if you uh, don't have a brand or if you're not using your brand. The first danger is people may assume that they know what you do, but they'll be wrong. The other danger is that people may assume they know exactly what you don't do or what you provide, and they too would be wrong. Some people will have absolutely no idea what you do if you don't have a brand, but even worse, people won't even care what you do if they don't know your brand. How can a brand help you? Several important ways. The bottom line is it can do this. It can help you make money. I don't think any of you went into real estate to take a vow of silence or a vow of poverty. So you need to speak up and do what you can to make a lot of this. And that's how a brand can help you. It can provide a competitive advantage in this very challenging marketplace. It can show how you were different and better than others. It can help you to connect with buyers and sellers. It can use, you can use the brand to help promote your credentials, your training, your areas of expertise, and your services. And importantly, it can help you to break through what I consider to be the seven major brand barriers. These are the barriers that get in the way of your success. 